Hello, angels and demons. I have honestly no clue how many times I've tried to record this, but it keep, keeps like messing up. Anyways, this is a tutorial on how I use PMX Editor on how to um, edit my models. Before you we start with the tutorial, you will need a Windows PC computer, Mac, I don't know about Mac, Android and stuff like that, but I know this won't work. So you do need a Windows PC. And for the things you need, um, you'll need a, a zipper RAR extractor. I personally use 7-zip, so I, I guess I'll link this, but you can use whatever you want. Like WinRAR, WinZip, whatever. As for PMX Editor, there are two versions that you can like use for e too easy to understand. Either this one or this one. It's Right now, it's recommended to use this one because it's fully translated into English. But you can use this one if you want. It's all up to you. And something when downloading parts, there are like two ways how you can download it on DeviantArt. You can download parts anywhere else like Nico Nico, Bull Roll, etc. So one way is if there's no link to like the download part, like the part download, there is here. Click on this little button here, which says download, and you should get the the file. I'm not gonna use this dress for this tutorial. Or if it has a link, click on it. See where it directs you and click download. Uh, just ignore that, but you get what, you know what I mean. So. We actually, I'm gonna download it to show, I might, You know, after I'm gonna use this dress, actually. Once you downloaded the part, download open the zip rar 7z file, whatever it is in. Open it. Open sesame. It's not opening. Well, it's gonna open eventually. No. Okay. Once it's you open the file, I highly recommend putting a f making a folder of where you download your parts. So let's say here. I named my PMX and PMD crap. Or you can name it whatever you want. I just tr like also try organizing like the parts like accessories, bases, dress, faces, etc. This case is a dress, so I just drag it to dress and it goes into dresses. Simple, right? Or I could do extract. Okay. I also highly recommend have two um, windows of File Explorer open so it can be easier. One for your model and oh, oh. One for your model and one for the part that you're using. So, make a new folder. name it whatever you want I'm just gonna name my model wait no actually you don't have to name 
exactly name the folder the same way that I did. You can name it whatever you want. Once you're done, uh, find a base. And also, I forgot to mention, you will need to learn the, you will need to know the basics of PMX Editor, which I can um, put an icon to where, for my tutorial, otherwise you can watch another tutorial. You don't have to watch mine. So, yeah, we're gonna use a female base. I wanted to use a male one, but for this tutorial to be easier, we'll use a female base. Control, like copy, paste, paste it in, copy and paste it into your model folder. As you can see, there it is. I'm gonna rename the base to, oh, you guessed it, model. Then you open it to open PMX editor. I made um my PC like automatically open PMX files into a PMX editor. Wait for it to open. This will take a while because it says PMX editor is launching. Please wait. As you can see, Angel Ocean Boy is being lazy right now. As this loads. And as you can see, it's open. There is our lovely model of uh, base. That will be our model. I like to turn off the bones and show vertex. And turn parts off. And deselect everything. Now. I'll actually remove this face of the base because it's overused, but if you like the face of the base, just keep it. But if you don't like it, just follow what I'm gonna do. Delete. First, try and like, select the body, everything except the head. Then click R, and right click, Control P or delete, and click yes. As you can see, she has no head. She will have a head in the future. Right now, I'm gonna, we're gonna save it. And put on a face. All credits will be like you know all credits will be listed don't do not worry okay we'll be using this one here Like, to make sure it's like not white, make sure you copy and paste the textures as well. Do not just only import in the PMX file itself. But I'm just gonna do this, cause our base, it already like, the, mo the base here already has a nice face texture, which will be edited. Um, I'm gonna name it, Control, Hold shift and rules of credits and a message. I'll I put in here I put credits so but you can put whatever you want. There's also a Japanese version so you can translate it to Japanese or you can just copy and paste it.
So this face has a neck, but the ears are also like the same material. So, and I'll show you how to delete this, but most face edits won't really have this. So shift delete. I'm trying to make this as fast as I can. Shift delete and oh, my bad. I'm gonna make this as fast as I can. It's a tutorial. Careful. I don't want to select the face. Like this kind of stuff. Because I don't, I don't need this. Shift delete. It can be fixed. I know it looks weird. I'll just edit the face. No, I do not want to see the good stuff. Okay. That's it for now. Now, you can see that there's edge lines on the face edit. If you do not like it, just go here, find the face, and just do this, and it's gone. I actually like... I used to not like edge lines, but now I do, because I think it's like a cartoonish look, that kind of thing. So I'm going to turn it on. And make sure you save your model. If it does, if you do not save it, it's not. It's gonna be back to its original form. So remember to save. Now I'll be editing the face texture. I personally use Magic Bang Paint Pro, but you can use whatever. You can use Krita, uh, Paint Tool Sci, Clip Paint Studio. Whatever you have. Online photo editors, I guess they work fine. Now, um, I'm gonna delete this because we don't really need it. Face. Find a, if you download an eye texture, like if, if you like the face texture, just keep it, but I'm not going to keep it because I don't like it. Let's make it red. Control T. And fit it to the T to I shape. Something like this. Okay. I also like to edit the eyelashes. I make them black. Because I like black. If you don't want it to be black, I'm not forcing you, but I like to make my eyelashes black until necessary. Like, say, make them brown or stuff like that. Color in. Roughly, I'm going to use the bucket tool because it's too easy to color it all in and just color all the white stuff to make it fully black. I also do the same with the eyebrows. I do not like the default eyebrows. I want to make them a different color.
once I'm since I'm done I do control S or save it. Edit update. And it updated. Woohoo. She now has red eyes and black eyelashes. Black eye or black eyebrows. Now we'll be adding hair. No, actually, I'll put on the dress first. Like, and show you why you will need to put it not in the center. The reason why, because it has physics. If you move it right here along with the base, things are not going to be that pleasant. Make sure you also make sure that you show the hidden bones. Once you're done with that, select everything. I like to use go to the fourth men window value thirty on the Z axis, and as you can see, it's not the center, which is good. Uh, I, I was going to do save, but either way, it's gonna work. Save, overwrite the original dress. Then we open our model. Make sure you read the readme, guys, because it has important information like rules. Like, as you can see, yes. Make sure you give. The author credit because if you don't, you'll get in bit, you'll get in trouble. If you forget to credit, that's okay. It's not the same as not giving credit on purpose. I'm gonna just move that forward. And add in the dress. Oh wait. Make sure you copy and paste the texture. You can copy and paste the readme if you want. Do not if there's a preview, do not copy and paste that. That's like unnecessary. There's there's no point to the preview if you're gonna put it in your model folder. And as you can see, the dress is here. Move it and adjust it to the model if necessary. Once looks fine. Do not worry about the skin clipping. We'll deal with that later. And I'll just reset it by right clicking. By the skin clipping, she looks great with this dress. I'll delete the bra and underwear because that is unnecessary. Now, in order to get rid of the skin, you have to delete her delete the skin I can see that in the models point of view she's gonna deal with absolute pain of her skin being deleted but in order to be looking fine we have to delete your skin and pretend that nothing even happened shift delete to delete the vertices that are clipping. And as you can see, she's like slightly better. Like at the point where no skin clips, but there's still skin clipping. Make sure you check if the skin's clipping. 
shift to hold bar vertices and control like shift you select like shift you uh select more vertices and control you select the last shift delete shift delete to delete the vertices that are clipping and she's completely normal now now we deal with the hair so this model won't be bald as heck find a hair Okay, it's gonna be weird. No, actually, I'm not gonna use that. This is gonna take a while. Oh boy. Control Shift. Uh, add the hair to your model. As you can see, just change the texture because it's like a Sims hair. This hair here, I originally had no physics, but I added the physics, because why not? Make sure the bone, rigid body, and joints are selected. Or else it won't work. And the hair is going to go crazy. Because most hairs have physics. Most hair has physics. Yeah. Once again. Adjust it until it fits the model. Yay, cool hair. Physics be like, what I just did is go to transform view and just click on the, the head bone. And whoa, physics look funny. I don't care. Now the shoes, the easiest shoes to handle with when it comes to editing models is boots heels are hard i'm not gonna i'm just gonna add boots to her found these boots add the boots i'm gonna add yeah I'm actually going to delete these because I'm here just using the black ones. Like, the black version of these boots. and Or in this case, Demonias. They're cool boots. Yeah, as you can see, it looks fine until, oh, her feet. They're showing. Delete the nails. Only the toenails. Unless if there's, like... The nails are like types of nails are se separate. Then you can delete the, like it says toenails. Then you can delete it. But in this case, the nails are together. So you select the toenails and shift delete, and she has no nails. Then go to body, and delete the ba like the feet that are clipping. And as you can see, oh, this is she's finally done. Whoa, well, that was fast. And make sure you save your model. And as you can see, she's done.
Woohoo! I made a... An alternative style girl, kind of. Gothic. And when, when you are, when you are a finisher the model, make sure you check for invisible vertices. It, it makes your model file size heavier. You see, see these floating vertices here? Those are invisible vertices. They can ruin your model. Make sure you delete them, shift delete, or you go, go Or you can go to select them, edit, vertex, delete, and click yes. Then you do this, and there we go. She's clean for now. I only mess with the deleting invisible vertices. I don't want to mess with the others. And she's done. Once you're done with that, um, I can close out of this because I don't need it right now. Open MMD. I'm gonna see if she works. Cause sometimes models can crash MMD. Hopefully this one doesn't. Hopefully they're nice. Okay, as you can see, oh, she's here, but I can see she has some physics problem, but otherwise, She's okay, in okay condition. I hope you guys learned something from this tutorial. If you did, good for you. That's the end of this, how I make models. M MD models using PMX editor. Bye.